morning everyone I hope you are all well today I'm going to do some coasters some alcohol ink coasters and these are four by four tiles um, you can get them in any hardware home improvement store they work out I know in the states they're like 14 or 15 cents a piece maybe a little bit more during COVID but in Canada, uh, I paid, I think, 23 cents a piece. And like I said, I don't know with COVID if they've gone up in price or not. I know lumber has gone up like crazy. So, but inexpensive. So, I always do a set of four. I clean off my tile with a, you know, a bit of uh, alcohol. Make sure the top of your tile is clean. And just going to use some alcohol ink. I have um, um, Ranger inks here, Ranger and Pinata. And I decided to go with the green, uh, a deep red, Santa Fe red, uh, yellow, and blue. This blue is uh, Baja blue. Blow dryer, just to move your alcohol around, your alcohol ink around. I have a little bit of... Uh, alcohol on the side here in case my my uh, ink isn't moving very well or just to start uh, always advisable to wear rubber gloves and to open a window because the fumes from the alcohol can be you know give you a headache cause some problems so yeah now, normally I would wear a much smaller glove, but this is all I was able to get my hands on. And I've ordered some extra small from Amazon with my fingers crossed that they're not going to be too small. So, we'll see. Okay, so let's start. I think I'm going to have some paper towel on hand too. Here we go. So, in the back, now this last batch of towels I bought had a lot of uh, dust on the back. So, I had to clean that off with a baby wipe. Then put some tape on because we're going to resin these after and we don't want the resin coming onto the back. So, put some painter's tape on. Easy to get off at the, you know, at the end when the resin is cured. So, okay. Let's start with this beautiful green, see what we can get here. I think I'm going to just put a little bit of uh, alcohol on my tile just to help it get started. You can also come in with your fingers. I like the effect when you use your fingers. Okay, let's try some yellow. Now the blow dryer will gently move your alcohol around, your ink around, um, and it also uh, sets it. So it's as easy as this. How easy is that? Now, I don't like that I went over here like that, so I'm just going to fix it.
So is that not easy? A little bit needed here. Okay. How easy was that? I think what we'll do, what I will do, is do one, two of all four colors, and then do of two of uh, maybe blue and red, and or sorry, one of blue and red and one of green and yellow. We'll give it a shot. If I don't like it, I can always change it. Okay. The this is still four, the four colors. I like this green. Now coming in with your finger like that, it um, gives the, the uh, ink a sense of depth because it creates uh, lighter and darker areas. So, let me see. I don't want the red and yellow, or sorry, I don't want the red and green together. I'll put a touch of red down here. Or red and blue, which makes almost a black. <laughs> My gloves are dirty. That's all right. Just makes things more interesting. And a little bit of blue right there. Okay, there's our second tile. Now let's give it a shot with uh, blue and yellow, sorry, green and yellow and blue and red. And like I said, if we don't like it, or if I don't like it, I can come in and change it. A little bit of alcohol. Have a yellow. This glove is really dirty. I think I'll change hands. I'm still waiting for my order of gloves to come in, so I'm running short. Okay. And then our green.
and then our blue and red. Try a little blue here. Okay. You know what? I like the yellow and the green. I'm not crazy about the blue and the red. So I think I'm going to add a touch of our other two colors just to offset this. Oh, this is going to make some green here. Okay, to get a yellow, I'm going to have to come in and clean off some of this. And then bring our yellow in. A touch of yellow up here.
and then we're going to change our green and yellow and add a bit just a touch of blue and red now i lean toward not too much red because i'm not a big fan of red but if you like red you go for the gusto I try to keep the green and the red a little bit separate because it just reminds me too much of Christmas. So well, that blue and red green made a pretty color, not quite the color we were going for. So I'm going to clean off a little bit more space here. Make sure we have our blue in here. Because we have blue and green, we're getting a teal, so I'm going to try to work from down here. I really have to work this space because I don't want another green. If I put the blue and yellow, I'm going to get green. So you play with yours, do it any which way you choose. This is just my preference. I'm going to get another, I think I'm okay here. A little bit more, uh, I'll use a baby wipe. Okay, let's try our blue. I'm going to try to break this up a little bit. Let me see how am I going to do this. Let's try to clean a little bit of the shallow. Bring some red up there. So there we have it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to give that a little bit of time to dry. Then we're going to, with a Sharpie, do our edges in black. And then uh, pour the resin over the top of that. And the resin needs, well, a soft cure takes about takes about 
12 hours and then you can handle it and take the tape off the back and it takes about 72 hours to have a full cure so that you're not it's not a, I mean it'll be hard um, but excuse me after 72 hours it's pretty well cra uh, scratch resistant and I use magic resin which is rated to up to 50 celsius so whatever that is fahrenheit i'm sorry i don't know um so yeah so it's safe for hot tea or coffee cups you know so i'm going to leave you here for a moment while i dry this and add my black markers and then we'll come back i just wanted you to see how easy it is to with these chisel stick chisel stick these chisel tip markers sharpie markers how easy it is to do these edges do the edges before you resin uh, so you don't have any bumps that you have to go over with the uh, marker you know, resin, little resin bumps. And then when if you do it before, any resin that spills over a little bit, we'll just coat your uh, marker. So yeah, so now, obviously, I'm going to wait for these to dry a little bit longer, and then we'll come back and resin them. Okay, so my alcohol ink is dry on my coasters. You have to be careful in areas where it's thick because it does take a little bit of time to dry. I used my blow dryer. I dried it for about probably 10 minutes with my blow dryer. Now I'm just mixing my um, resin. This needs to be mixed for at least four minutes. I use magic resin. And I'm just going to uh, do two cups, or sorry, two coasters for now because I don't have a lot of space and I don't want it to get on to my camera, to my tripod. So, self-leveling. Now, I'll just give you an example of how I work this. Make sure it comes all the way to the edges. Better to have it pour over than to not have it covered. So, and better to make too much resin than not enough. Just to be on the safe side. Now, you could have lots of bubbles, which is not a big deal. You're going to uh, take a, you know, a small kitchen torch or a heat gun, in my case, I use a, a heat gun. Both work sufficiently. And you're gonna work those bubbles out or just, you know, heat them out. Now, normally I would work this, scooping the excess resin from underneath, but because I want to get all four coasters covered and I don't have space here, I'm just going to do this partially just to show you. Now, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but you can see the resin, the bubbles just popping out once you apply the heat. Don't want to leave it on too long because it will burn the resin. Just about how I'm doing it. Now I end up babysitting for, I babysit for about an hour, coming back and checking to make sure no more air bubbles have surfaced. Okay, all the bubbles are gone. Now you will work, that thins the resin out a little bit too, so you need to work it. So you're taking the excess resin from the bottom, just makes it a little bit easier. It's not necessary, but 
and scrape along the sides. So yeah, that's about it. Make sure you're in a well ventilated room. If you're really clever, you will wear a respirator and goggles. At the very least, you need uh, nitro gloves, a fan, and uh, an open window or two open windows. As I said, at, at the very least, resin's, you know, quite toxic. I mean, you can work with it, but you have to take precautions. Okay. I'm going to leave you there, and we will come back in about 12 hours, 12 or 14 hours. Well, more than that, actually. It's about, yeah, about 12, 14 hours. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning here. So tomorrow morning, this will be set and hard enough to uh, peel the tape off the back. And, uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. After three days, it's totally cured and uh, scratch resistant. So I'll leave you at that and we'll be back in a bit. Well, it'll be a second for you. It'll be 12 hours for me. So we're back. It's now about uh, 24 hours, <clears throat> excuse me. And our uh, resin has cured. Like I said, a f full cure is 72 hours. So it becomes a little uh, more scratch resistant. So as you can see, we have a beautiful glass-like cover on our coasters and it will be finished in the back when you're done and look like this. Now, these three I've done. Now this one, I just want, wanted to show you the process of taking your tape off now, as I said, the tape helps protect the back so you don't have a lot of the resin stuck to the back of your um, tile, your coaster. So try to do it You know, not slow motion, but not too fast, because then you end up just ripping the the tape and not lifting up your uh, resin, your, you know, pieces that are stuck. Okay. Try to get your finger a little bit under there to help lift up the So the whole process takes a while it's a bit of work but in my view it's so worth it and I sell these coasters and they sell actually very well. Okay, so that's pretty well our tape taken off. You come in with a, I think this is an 80, a fine grit sandpaper. Just smooth down the edges. And then you're going to, I use Aileen's Tacky Glue. Now normally I would put on um, backing that has, you know, it's a, you just have to peel off the back and put it on. But some things, I assume because of COVID, have become hard to get. So I'm just using this regular felt on the back. So I have to put this glue down.
and then just lay your felt down pretty easy and Bob's your uncle as I apparently like to say your tile is ready to go and this is four beautiful tiles four beautiful coasters look how brilliant and bright those are just stunning so that's it that's how you made it make a set of coasters well, next yesterday I did these little fish and these are going to be resined also so I just drew out the fish colored them in with um, alcohol ink markers and put some varnish and a couple coats of Mod Podge on uh, and then I'm going to uh, to resin these. Now what I've also done is I've done tiles where I've just uh, affixed a hook in the back, a hanger in the back and sold them at just as an individual tiles you know for your bathroom whatever. You can uh, pick up these little easels at Walmart and online on Amazon and then just set these on and put them in your bathroom. Cute, eh? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Would love a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be great if you did that. And remember, today's a good day to have a good day. Bye for now.